Myriapoda is a subphylum of arthropods containing millipedes, centipedes, and others. The group contains over 13,000 species, all of which are terrestrial. Although their name suggests they have myriad legs, myriapods range from having over 750 legs to having fewer than 10 legs. The fossil record of myriapods reaches back into the late Silurian, although molecular evidence suggests a diversification in the Cambrian period, and Cambrian fossils exist which resemble myriapods. The oldest unequivocal myriapod fossil is of the millipede Pneumodesmus pneumani, from the late Silurian P. pneumani is also important as the earliest known terrestrial animal. The phylogenetic classification of myriapods is still debated. The scientific study of myriapods is myriapodology, and those who study myriapods are myriapodologists. Anatomy Myriapods have a single pair of antennae and, in most cases, simple eyes. The mouth parts lie on the underside of the head, with an epistome and labrum forming the upper lip, and a pair of maxillae forming the lower lip. A pair of mandibles lie inside the mouth. Myriapods breathe through spiracles that connect to a tracheal system similar to that of insects. There is a long tubular heart that extends through much of the body, but usually few, if any, blood vessels. Malpighian tubules excrete nitrogenous waste in the digestive system, which typically consists of a simple tube. Although the ventral nerve cord has a ganglion in each segment, the brain is relatively poorly developed. During mating, male myriapods produce a packet of sperm, or spermatophore, which they must transfer to the female externally. This process is often complex and highly developed. The female lays eggs which hatch as much shortened versions of the adults, with only a few segments and as few as three pairs of legs. The young add additional segments and limbs as they repeatedly mold to reach the adult form. Ecology Myriapods are most abundant in moist forests, where they fulfill an important role in breaking down decaying plant material, although if you live in grasslands, semi-arid habitats or even deserts. A very small percentage of species are littoral. The majority are detritivorous, with the exception of centipedes, which are chiefly nocturnal predators. Poropodons and symphalans are small, sometimes microscopic animals that resemble centipedes superficially and live in soils. Millipedes differ from the other groups in having their body segments fused into pairs, giving the appearance that each segment bears two pairs of legs, while the other three groups have a single pair of legs on each body segment. Although not generally considered dangerous to humans, Many millipedes produce noxious secretions which in rare cases can cause temporary blistering and discoloration of the skin. Large centipedes, however can bite humans, and although the bite may cause intense pain and discomfort, fatalities are extremely rare. Classification There has been much debate as to which arthropod group is most closely related to the myriapoda. Under the mandibulata hypothesis, myriapoda is the sister taxon to pancrustacea, a group comprising the Crustacea and Hexapoda. Under the Atelocerata hypothesis, Hexapoda is the closest, whereas under the Paradoxapoda hypothesis, Chelocerata is the closest. This last hypothesis, although supported by few, if any, morphological characters, is supported by a number of molecular studies. There are four classes of extant myriapods, Chilopoda, Diplopoda, Poropoda and Symphala, containing a total of around 12,000 species. While each of these groups of myriapods is believed to be monophyletic, relationships among them are less certain. Equals centipedes equals. Centipedes make up the class Chilopoda. They are fast, predatory and venomous, hunting mostly at night. There are around 3,300 species, ranging from the diminutive Nan Nairup Hofmani to the giant Scolopindra giganti which may exceed 30 centimeters. Equals millipedes equals. Millipedes form the class Diplopoda. Most millipedes are slower than centipedes, and feed on leaf litter and detritus. They are distinguished by the fusion of each pair of body segments into a single unit, giving the appearance of having two pairs of legs per segment. Around 8,000 species have been described, which may represent less than a tenth of the true global millipede diversity. The name millipede is a compound word formed from the Latin roots milia and pes, 
although millipedes typically have between 36 and 400 legs. One species, Ilacomplenops, has the greatest number of legs of any animal, with 750. Pill millipedes are much shorter, and are capable of rolling up into a ball, like pill bugs. Equals Symphila equals About 200 species of them are known worldwide. They resemble centipedes but are smaller and translucent. Many spend their lives as soil in fauna, but some live arboreally. Juveniles have six pairs of legs, but, over a lifetime of several years, add an additional pair at each molt so that the adult instar has twelve pairs of legs. Equals Poropoda equals Poropoda is another small group of small myriapods. They are typically 0.5 a euro 2.0 mm long and live in the soil on all continents except Antarctica. Over 700 species have been described. They are believed to be the sister group to millipedes, and have the dorsal tergites fused across pairs of segments, similar to the more complete fusion of segments seen in millipedes. Equals Arthropleurodea equals. Arthropleurodeans were ancient myriapods that are now extinct, known from the late Silurian to the Permian. The most famous members are from the genus Arthropleura, which was a giant, probably herbivorous, animal that could be up to 3 meters long, but the group also includes species less than 1 cm. Arthropleurodea was historically considered a distinct class of myriapods. But since 2000 scientific consensus has viewed the group as a subset of millipedes, although the relationship of Arthropleurodeans to other millipedes and to each other is debated. Equals myriapod relationships equals, a variety of groupings of the myriapod classes have been proposed, some of which are mutually exclusive, and all of which represent hypotheses of evolutionary relationships. Traditional relationships supported by morphological similarities are challenged by newer relationships supported by molecular evidence. Dynatha is a clade consisting of millipedes and poropods, and is supported by morphological similarities including the presence of a gnothochelarium and a colum, a legless segment behind the head. Trinatha is a grouping of centipedes and symphalans, united by similarities of mouthparts. Pragoniata is a group encompassing Dynatha and Symphalans while excluding centipedes. Shared features include reproductive openings behind the second body segment, and sensory hairs with a bulb-like swelling. Edifropoda is a grouping of Symphalans and Poropodans that is supported by shared genetic sequences, yet conflicts with Dynatha and Trinatha. See also Euthycarcinoidae, a group of enigmatic arthropods that may be ancestral to myriapods. Colonization of land, major evolutionary stages leading to terrestrial organisms, mtamerism, the condition of multiple linearly repeated body segments. References External links, Myriapod Fossil Record, University of Bristol, International Journal of Myriapodology, International Society of Myriapodology, British Myriapod and Isopod Group, Myriapods, the world's leggiest animals, North America. Data related to Myriapoda at Wikispecies, media related to Myriapoda at Wikimedia Commons.